Hi guys! Today I'm going to be opening up the July Fairy Loop. I don't remember what the theme for this one is, but I'm pretty sure I know what the book is. So let's open this baby up. Paper scraps everywhere. Okay, this first item. Ooh, this looks like a tea tin. This is cute. Don't see the spoiler card, so I don't know who did this, but we'll unbury that momentarily. So yeah, it looks like a blue tea tin. And it's got sort of a double, I think, am I doing this right? Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, like sort of a double sealed top, so that's cool. And the, this bit has little bat wings on it. That's adorable. I really like the color of this. And the quote on the front says, be glad of your human heart, pity those who don't feel anything at all. And apparently that is by Sarah J Mass. so. Cute! I have a lot of loose leaf tea, so that's fun. Next up looks like a pair of socks from Cinderella is Dead. I have not read that, but really nice crew socks with cute little blue dresses and books and butterflies. These are nice. I like the colors on that a lot. And I love a good pair of fun socks, so nice. I like those. Again, I'm still looking for the spoiler card. I don't know who designed any of these yet. <laughs> I was just telling my coworker, I don't remember the last time I owned an umbrella, but this seems like we have an umbrella inspired by Heartless, which I think is Melissa Mayer. And it's got like a card theme. I think that's like a Alice in Wonderland retelling maybe. So that's cool. I don't want to open this up inside, but <laughs> I assume the pattern is the same on the inside as, as that. So nice. I, I need an umbrella, so that's cool. I don't know why they put the spoiler card at the bottom does nothing down there. Okay, found it. So that's what the spoiler card looks like. Kind of gives the book away, but not mad about it. it says the umbrella was designed by Team Fair Fairy Loot and inspired by an Alice in Wonderland retelling Heartless by Marissa Mayer. So that's cool. The socks are designed by Katarina Book Designs and the tin is designed by Chatty Nora. And that's inspired by A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I haven't read, but I'm planning to this month. So that's cool. All right. Looks like we also have a book sleeve, according to the spoiler card. Cute. I love book sleeves. I use them all the time when I bring my books to work. And this is a really, really pretty design. We've got some red and blue. The spoiler card says it's inspired by the Blood of the Stars duology by Elizabeth Lim. So that's Spin the Dawn and Unravel the Dusk. And I have Spin the Dawn, haven't read it yet, but hopefully we'll soon, because this is really pretty and oh my gosh, I want to know what all this stuff means. And this was designed by Rosie Thorns 88 That's cool. I really like the material. It feels like waterproof, so that'll be, that'll be handy. And it's a pretty good size. It'll definitely fit most paperbacks and some smaller uh, hardcovers. And it's got like a nice soft interior too to protect your books. So that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. I will always use a book sleeve. One more item before the book, sorry. It was also hiding under it. <laughs> so it looks like a foiled print inspired by the Star Touched Queen series by Roshani Chokshi. And it was illustrated by Kayvon Kaylee. So that's really pretty. I haven't read that book either, uh, but that's a really cute illustration and I like the foiling on it. That's pretty. And this month's tarot cards are the King and Queen of Wands. And these are really pretty illustrations. Okay, they're inspired by Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Another book series I have not read, but I heard good things about that one. And I know that's finished. So maybe I'll pick that up at some point and just kind of binge my way through it. Cause it seems really cool and I like, these character designs are really cool, so that's intriguing. Okay, now the book. Ooh, got some sprayed edges. Oh, pretty. So the book is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, and it's got these beautiful purple sprayed edges, and it has six crimson cranes stenciled, stenciled onto the sides, so that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is such a gorgeous cover. This is one of the few instances in which I think the UK and the US editions both have stunning covers. And honestly, I'm tempted to pick up the US one just because that illustration is also really pretty. But wow, this is gorgeous. I love the stenciling on the side. That is so special. Ooh, oh my goodness. Wow, they really addressed every inch of this. Holy crap. So the hardcover has an embossed 
an illustration as well. I'm assuming this is the main character surrounded by the cranes. This is so pretty. I love the purple foil. Like really soft, like dust blue or dusty blue hardcover. That's really pretty. And the foiling on the spine. That's really gorgeous. And then the illustration on the inside is so pretty. I'm assuming that's the main character. I don't know who the other two people are, but this is gorgeous. I really like that illustration style. That's really cool. So the dust jacket artwork and the foil embossing on the case are both illustrated by Salties. And I'm gonna check them out on Instagram because I've never heard of them before and their illustration style is really pretty. And it also comes with a bookmark that matches the spoiler card and this really pretty art print that also has the author's note on it. So that's gorgeous. <laughs> that little, um, I think it's a butterfly, but it looks like Navi from <laughs> Lord of the, um, I almost said Lord of the Rings. Legend of Zelda. So I'm really excited about this one. This is a book that has been on my radar for a while. I've been really interested in reading Elizabeth Lim for quite a while as well. Again, I have the uh, Spin the Dawn book on my TBR, I've been meaning to read it for a really long time, but from what I've heard, her her books are just so magical and like very cozy fantasies. And this one just, oh my God, it looks beautiful and it sounds beautiful as well. On the back, it says a princess in exile, a shape-shifting dragon, six enchanted cranes, and an unspeakable curse. It will take more than magic to find their way home. The back illustration is really pretty as well. And on the inside flap, it says, Shiorianma, the only princess of Kiata, has a secret. Forbidden magic runs in her veins, and on the morning of her betrothal ceremony, Shiori loses control. At first, her mistake seems like a stroke of luck, forestalling the wedding she never wanted, but it also catches the attention of Raikama, her stepmother. A sorceress in her own right, Raikama banishes the young princess, turning her brothers into cranes and warning Shiori that she must speak of it to no one. For every word that escapes her lips, one of her brothers will die. Penniless, voiceless, and alone, Shiori searches for her brothers and uncovers a dark conspiracy to seize the throne. Only Shiori can set the kingdom to rights, but to do so, she must place her trust in a paper bird, a mercurial dragon, and the very boy she fought hard not to marry. And she must embrace the magic she's been taught all her life to contain, no matter what it costs. So that sounds so good. Again, this is a release I've been waiting all year for. And so I'm really excited that Fairy Loot decided to do a special edition of it and such a beautiful one at that. So, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to read this. All right, and that wraps up the July Fairy Loot box. That was a really awesome box. I really liked all the items. I'm really excited about the book sleeve. The book, uh, the tea tin is really cute as well. And the umbrella will be very useful. <laughs> um when it rains so yeah i'm thrilled with that we got some really beautiful items and a really really just anticipated book for me so all in all i really loved that box thank you guys so much for watching feel free to leave a comment down below what did you think of this box have you read this book yet did you really like it let me know also feel free to follow my socials down in the description box like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching and have a great day bye